Now at the end of the last video, we finished up with the back bolster, getting it pretty much done. So now I'm going to catch up the front bolster. It has to accommodate the fifth wheel plate and the kingpin. This is how I did that. The fifth wheel gets riveted on with the 3 8 rod, but I need a countersunk head to fit up flush on the fifth wheel. These bars on each side of the fifth wheel is what interacts with the sway bars that we put on earlier. So this makes the front axle pretty close to finish with just a few little pieces left. Now I can catch up the back axle. I need these short clips to go on the ends of the axles.
and I need these long clips to help hold the bolster to the reach hounds. and the reach hounds are ironed, it allows the reach to slide through. The end of the reach is also well ironed where the kingpin goes.
This reach will eventually get pinned through the reach hound irons so the axles are 8 feet apart. The reach gets rub irons for the upper and lower sway bars. and the top of the kingpin gets a broad, shallow head. This gear also needs a mechanical brake system, so I'm going to make the brake lever out of inch and a quarter round rod.
This finalizes the assembly of the brand new sheep wagon gear made from scratch. We also made a stub tongue for this. And since these two gears need to be hooked together, I'll show you how that works in a future video. Thanks for watching.